Okay, YouTube, this is what we've been getting done. Uh, I was working on the uh, brake stays here today. Uh, that's tack welded in. Um, I used the old ends from the old brake stay rod uh, and then bent this piece of hexagon up. Um, this arm here stuck out pretty far, was pretty long. I shortened that up, um, which entail took it in, which gives us more of a straight shot for our brake rod. Um, debating where I want to put this pivot point here and if I want to use this arm as well or if I want to trim it down. Um, and it's all going to be uh, up to whether I, I put the mid controls at a certain point or whatever. Um, but anyhow, that's what we got done here. We got the fake oil bag tacked in here today. Um, just made these ears and then, you know, put some flange nuts on the bottom side and we'll weld those the whole way around. Okay, and put holes in for hairpins. Else done other than that, I don't think. Next steps are going to be filling in Yamaha emblems on the cases. Um, we'll trim this guy up like this, clean it up a little bit, and finishing up whatever other ears and tabs and brackets and stuff we need welded on the frame and we'll get some electronics coming probably from Hughes Handbuilt or TC Brothers or something like that depending on uh, whether Hughes starts making them here shortly or not. Uh, he's got a waiting list I guess. Um, but yeah I don't want to make too many of my, my brackets for electronics or anything until I have uh, what I'm using in hand. And um, yeah then we'll move on to probably stripping it down after we have everything welded to the frame and decide whether we're going to leave a pair of metal or um, you know, do some fill in and put some color on the frame or you know paint the frame to match the fender of the tank I don't know yet but there you go hope you're enjoying thank you YouTube